Jesus Lord Christ. I'm making this video because I really want to make this video. I want to get the record search straight. Before I start this video, before I let the doors of heaven of my mouth come at you. Well, that, that sounds very bad, by the way. <laughs> so, yes, this channel is neutral. This channel is for the Xbox fanboys, the PlayStation fanboys, the Nintendo fanboys, the PC fanboys of the Master Race, and the Stadia fanboys. Well, there's, 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 there's some there, you know what I mean? So, what do I mean with that? I mean, I don't give a fuck about you, you, your console or, pro, or priorities. If you're a PlayStation fan, you're an Xbox fan, I don't give a fuck. I talk what I talk. I do what I do, and I love video games. Okay, don't want to get that straight. Now, let's get to the video, shall we? First of all, I want to talk about that. What the fuck was that showcase? What? Like, seriously? It was not that bad. It was not bad. I think it was okay. It was good. It was it was an okay. You know, there's a high bar. It's ugly, and there's amazing epic. In the middle of it, just a little to the left, Almost too bad or kinda or meh. It was okay. It, it, okay, the show was okay. I saw Halo Infinite. I'm gonna go there right now. We saw some good games actually. A wow. <laughs> that, that, that's a real weird title for a game. A wow. There yo, you're going to GameStop like yo, give me a wow. A what? A wow. A what? A world. Oh, the Obsidian RPG? Yeah, oh yeah, yo, give me a wow! What? <laughs> it's like ordering a Mac combo for fucking McDonald's. Like, that, that, that's that's the way I'm talking about. And without Grounded, I'm very hyped for Grounded. Like, like that type of game, it's it's fun to play with games. It's like Sea of Thieves. Those games are real good, okay? But, be more completely honest, and sometimes we got some games from Rare that we didn't see some good-ass gameplay for it. Uh, we saw some brand new teasers. Um, but let's go even deeper, okay? Let's go deeper. If you're laughing from the thumbnail, I've just got that from Twitter. Sorry about that. This is a Twitter thumbnail. Just enjoy it. Let's go into a Halo Infinite. I'm going to prioritize most of my talks on Halo Infinite. Jesus, Lord, Savior, God. What the fuck we just saw for that? First of all... Compared to Halo 5, and even Halo 4, fuck, no, even Halo 3, this game looks like plain trash. And I'm not saying, the only thing that I can salvage that it was good, it was like the weapons and just that in. Maybe the sounds, but for, for fuck's sake, we have seen so many stuff, guys. We are in a brand new territory. We're in a brand new, the Xbox Series X. We're, we're on that category. We will see brand new graphics, straight edge textures, some detail to characters, and we just saw some plain ass boring gameplay with some, oh my lord, like, Jesus. Okay, first of all, I'm okay with Chief going back to its old original armor. I really get that. I know this is a tribute between Halo 3, Halo Reach, and Halo 1 Combat Evolved. I'm a big fan of those Halos, by the way. I'm a big Halo fan. Still think the 3 is the better one. Uh, but going to Halo Infinite, I expected good to detail. I expected 60 frames per second with blown as graphics in display, some amazing gameplay, some brand new things. The only thing I can salvage from this gameplay, it's the villain. The the the, the, the banish? Like he 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 gave a like, monologue and it was cool, it was amazing. I, I really I really like that monologue. It's like Idris Elba from Pacific Rim. Yeah, the apocalypse like that stuff of 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 thing. But man, what horrible stuff Fucking graphics and displaying characters! Jesus! Like, bro! Kodon Khan from Ghost of Tsushima! That motherfucker looks good! Like, good! And when I see a, a, a fucking gameplay from Halo Infinite, the next Halo interaction, the next the Xbox Series X game exclusive launch title, and looks look this poor! Come on! But let's not get the fact. Like, I saw many people from Twitter. I saw Mudohar, that I really love that guy. Like, that, that if you, you haven't seen Ordinary Gamer, you, I, I, I really support you to, to watch some Ordinary Gamer. But many people were talking about what I, it was in my mind. This is the job of a console being holed up by older generation. 
Yes! Microsoft has said the, the, the Halo Infinite will launch on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. PC, it's okay. PC, it's okay. You got a 2080, you can run that bitch. But Xbox One, that console has a lot, a lot of problems, okay? For instance, Cyberpunk 2077, the Xbox One was a major pro was a major problem to having the game on the on this generation. Okay? That's the thing you must put in your mind. And this is the work of a con of game being holed up by old generation. Imagine Halo being exclusive only to the Xbox Series X. I can assure you it will look five to ten to twenty times better than it looks right now. I'm a big fan of Halo! And I can assure you that from Halo 5 to Halo 3, those games look much, much more better than the Halo 5. And they say, oh, it's a pretty flip, it's a play, it's an early build. Come on, bro. I remember last year, last year, I think it was last year, going onto the brand new consoles. Oh, the brand new console will, uh, will push 220 frames per second with 4K running like a bota. Uh, like, uh, okay, you're saying that the console can run 120 frames per second with no, e with, with, with no problem. Why the fuck we didn't see some mind-blowing things and mind-blowing gameplay? I'm very disappointed at that. And don't get me wrong on the next things I'm going to talk about. Let's talk about Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer saying, even if you haven't seen Twitter, if you haven't seen the original news, Phil Spencer have been saying that exclusive are in the past, and Sony's uh, strategies of exclusive doesn't give a fuck. 32 exclusives. 32 exclusives. And 23 of those 32 exclusives were launch exclusive. <laughs> Phil, you're full of shit. I used to like you. But right now, I don't know where the fuck you stand for. You, and he's not a bad guy, okay? He's not a bad guy. He he pull he pull Xbox One from the mud, and I really appreciate for the for the guy doing that. But still, when he the guy runs his mouth, it brings chaos, okay? Okay, thirty two exclusive, twenty three launch exclusives, and the others being console exclusive for the Xbox. I understand, Stalker. I'm a big fan of the Stalker One. Really, I'm hyper playing that, but I'm gonna play it on the PC. Warhammer? Oh god! Really love really love the Vermintide Warhammer games. That those hack and slash type of co-op games. Really love them. Really good really do. But going to perspective, just two exclusives just was blowing my mind. A Wild and Fable. Those are the only two games that I can say I can salvage that were better were better were better. And don't get me wrong. I was. I am still rooting for the Xbox, but at the at the final at the final showcase at the final minutes of the showcase, they still were saying that it was not the final showcase of the Xbox Series X. There's another one, guys. Three of them, and the third one can say we can see the price. Three showcases, and two of them being, oh my God, just bad, 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 bad. I don't know. I'm not high, but my, my perspective was okay, and right now it's just plain bad. I cannot say that I'm hype, and I cannot say I'm really looking forward to play the Xbox games. The only thing I can salvage from all this showcase is that each and every game will be on the Game Pass. Game Pass is the savior for the Xbox One and the future of the Xbox if they don't put their pants to motion. Xbox Game Pass is a brand new thing, but I'm seeing I was I'm thinking people will skip the Xbox Series X and Buy a PlayStation and then down the line to play the Xbox games will buy a PC just like I'm doing right now So I will go with the PlayStation 5 instead of the Xbox Series X and I will get a PC I will play those games with better graphics better fidelity and much better community I'm just saying PC is much better than the Xbox Series X right now so if I get the Xbox Game Pass on that PC right now, that I did, there they are. I will be playing Halo Infinite on the PC with no problems whatsoever. There's not a reason I'm gonna buy an Xbox Series X, and I'm sad for that. I'm sad for that. So guys, that was my take. That was my thing I'm saying of the Xbox Showcase. It was a mixed bag, but still. Still gonna see that third showcase and not have some expectation whatsoever. But guys, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the Xbox showcase. Comment below, let me know. 
<laughs> and I hope you like the memes that are on Twitter right now from those showcase. <laughs> so, guys, okay, uh, make sure you subscribe. It helps the, 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 the channel a lot. It's free. Go to that down battle. Subscribe, please. And I'll see you next time on the next Really Guy Show. Peace out.